Hello people, wishing you a happy 75th Independence Day 2021. We honor the struggles of many brave hearts who fought for the country's freedom, salute to the martyrs for the sacrifices they made and thank them for giving us our freedom. I am Mohan Krishna and you are listening to Ekrish Parts. Welcome to the last episode of The History of Indian Independence Struggle. In this series so far, we have listened to India's first freedom struggle, the rebellion of 1857 and about the other moments in the freedom struggle, the quit India moment, independence and partition of India and Pakistan. Well in this episode, we'll see how was India before and after British imperialism. The British began to rule in India from 1858 through 1947. Before British imperialism in India, India was doing very well and flourishing. Britain came to India in 1858 for the profitable resources that the British Empire wanted to make theirs. Leaving in 1947 just to leave before civil war broke out and leaving India in terrible shape taking and using whatever resources they wanted in their rule in India. Before the British ruled in India, the East India Trade Company came to rule while India was very weak. The company made India one of the wealthiest countries in the world. They brought trade and influence into the country, basically owning the global textile trade, eventually being able to own their own army and being able to tax anyone in their limits and territory. The Industrial Revolution only boosted their wealth and helped with their trade efforts. Britain saw that India had people and cheap labour and industries that could produce goods fast for people to buy. Another was raw materials like jute and cotton with their rich agriculture and their opium trade. Seeing all of this, they wanted it and wanted to profit. Britain began their rule when they began getting more and more powerful and beginning this by trading with India. An uprising with the people of India with the East India Trade Company, the company grew weak and then Britain saw the chance to gain more wealth. Showing the huge military in India, enforcing what the government seemed fit. Governing at every level, the Indian people didn't even have a say in local levels of government making. The INC, Indian National Congress, helped their efforts for the say in the government. Britain using all the riches and wealth in India and enforcing strict policies and taxes on the people, causing famine, hunger and poverty in the people. Fights and peaceful protests within the people would soon break out. Movements like Gandhi brought India together and united the country against the British. Also World War II coming around, having harsh economic effects on India, forcing them to pull leave, there was also a breakout of a civil war between India leaving India right before the civil war and with nothing. The British Raj left India in terrible shape doing what they have been known to do in the past, unfairly tax and rule other countries, forcing their imperialistic actions onto countries for their wealth, leaving before the civil war would soon break out with all they needed with India. Nothing in poverty and hunger would also force India to split into Pakistan. At present, India has taken upon itself one of the biggest challenges of modern times, namely economic independence through peaceful and non-violent methods. The aim set is to conquer hunger and unemployment by the process of bold liberalization of economic policy. The success of democracy in India depends upon the successful working of new economic policy and removal of poverty. The change is near and with every passing 15th August, we are getting one step closer to achieving it. As we continue to strive hard to see a better tomorrow, we can in the meantime. And this brings us to the end of our 5 day series, The History of Indian Independence Struggle. See you next time with a new podcast, follow up for more updates and don't forget to share and subscribe to our YouTube and Instagram channels. Until then take care. Jai Hind.